fellow South Africans. <clears throat> I'm sure most of us say as let them fellow South Africans. Uh Monga Meli is uh, about to address the nation. Now I've decided to address the nation for absolutely no reason. So I can talk about how many people are so curious um, in watching or seeing this live video for no reason. Of course, I posted it. Is all to say I will be going live for absolutely no reason. There is no reason at all that I'm going live. It's just um, to reflect on Ilanduk on a youth day. So there's a friend of mine uh, that I saw here, a poster, uh, I think a couple of days ago, Iti. Um, they were speaking about la la. The closer saying that says vala umlom klausicha. So vala umlom klausicha is loosely translated. Eh, kaula lech. Langa, ufgele no nwe na. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why I'm up at this time. <clears throat> so kukola saying it vala umlom klaus klausicha. So oh mama be to always used to tell us that instruction doba. Klausic of Alm Law. And one 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 would say that that saying can translate into your life. Then to a lot people mustn't know your plans. Yeah, boy. So many people quote U Titi Mabuza to say Upi. Yeah, boy. So when they say Upi Titi Mabuza is eating. So when you are eating, you keep quiet. Yeah, boy. So that, that that saying sparked an interest in me in Doba hey, okay. Many people uh, like Olanga Abba, who are masters of social media intelligence. Olanga is one of those guys that has an account but doesn't post, <laughs> he doesn't comment, but he's still here, he's within the people. Now we will see the Kaulale chief. So let's first start about, um, of course, Namplante is June 16. Um, my first encounter with June 16 was a terrible terrible encounter. I remember in 2007, which was the, 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 the most horrible teenage year of my life. So I was busy in Antani Hip Hop <clears throat> and uh, we had a group called Complex Trinity. The group was made out of Uluan, Don Trombe, Malusi Tuku and myself and a couple of other guys. Doesn't have a proper picture. Ah, uh, now you go forget, forget all that look, Prince. Oh, long forget all your now. At least it's better. Lula will do better. Dear Punga, dear Punga, go and go off. It's to do so. We are born. So I was saying, um, in two thousand seven, that was the worst year in my teenage life. Of course, uh, I won't speak about everything, but I'll speak about particularly Youth Day. I will never forget Youth Day. So, as I said, it's a good group. <laughs> Osimo, Osimo is laughing because he knows he knows the story about what happened uh, in 2007. It's unfair, it's unfair. So, yeah, it's a good group. Uh, a complex unit in Dimo, Luando, Nomalusi, and a couple of other guys. Oh, cheese. I'm not sure from it who will know the story. So we called ourselves Hip Hop um, Complex Trinity. So there was a Youth Day event uh, held at Butterworth High School to commemorate um, Youth Day. I remember Uchalichino, Rotman Ungoma, Chalichino Doi. He was an MC there, or he was one of the performers there. And then Nati would perform. I think Waku Kone Group, actually, Optical Illusion, that came down. Like it was very nicely organized. So that year, it was June 16, it was on a Saturday. So if you know me well, you know that uh, I grew up in a very conservative uh, church and a family where we observed the Sabbath. So why would I even go to a party on a Saturday? We'll know about that later on. I'm speaking about Youth Day. So uh, we performed there, but over time there was a function. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, complex trinity. Yeah, so Umalusi will tell you, will explain. He came up with the word trinity. Okay, we know that is the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. So it's three. 
complex was a chemical compound that he decided yeah I, complex trinity should be fine so uh Oh yeah, optical illusion actually uh, it was dismantled. But anyway, Icon, it, it was a South African group. If you watch your shiznes uh, and stuff, you know optical illusion. Uh, they were a good group. So he also performed too. So on the June 16, the function was good. It was very well curated, and you know people, you know attendance was high. 2007, um, the party was high. Then there was an after party. You know how after parties go. There was an after party. Kwaku club went to Hawaii. Kwaku club went to Hawaii. If you know Eskom building next to it, just a couple of blocks away from police station. So Kwaku after party, pa, and we went there. Okay. So okay, yeah. 2007, I also started drinking. Um, well, I not say started drinking. I, that was the first time I tasted alcohol as a teenager didn't taste nice um so i was like uh, this is not for me yeah but we were cool with it but i was like no so yeah Kalapai, hawaii okay, which was the club as a two then kakuba man yeah we performed there were performances there people were doing all nice things and then yeah you know after party you know what happens at after parties so it was a saturday which was isabat and i was in an event on a Saturday, a youth day event, and a, uh, there was an after party. Fine. So, um, yeah, 2007 ish was the worst year. So, fine. Uh, uh, you know, you know, you know, guys started picking up some girls and etc. But you know me, I, I, I was always a holy, holy guy. I've, I've, I've always been that straightforward guy. So, yeah, it could be after party. And you know, on a Saturday, it takes his earlier around six, and it's winter. So I was like, Ish. hey, I know my parents, but I am going to it. And I was a Pumaka, which is about half past seven, eight. So I can stay till about that time. Uh, and then, Gang Wogu, Salandu, Langa, fine, Kunga, be called. You know how it goes. <laughs> And then fine. Um, so as a performer, I remember that day I wore, I had bought sneakers and Nike. And then the phone, my phone was a Motorola C117, not lay roll on, but the one with the corners. So it was dope at that time. Um, I had money in my pocket because, um, funny enough, none to you man take by, but uh, we won't talk about that. I ended up chowing that money. So hey, I know decided hey guys go late and as no transport Uber was a cake I as well mind on Uber ko kwama pela and stuff So eh I go me chance na mandil bed because go late and ending their clock and the clock was 7 So the mummy takes and see it takes as extension 15 spell as you know if you like to when you know that it's could pela earlier cuz I'm bad from bal and then um the bambi takes us a tube so it takes us a tube obviously is on bega main road then i left to cross a field and then the ambe in the hanga or a passage and then the figure 15. i mess up um quality takes in the langa lay to a stop in the way and yarn tough as i was approaching gang wounds of calling in a p15 <laughs> i'm a prince one good thing good you know the story, but anyway, yeah. So it lands on well, it's tough. Um, the born three guys, yeah, but a hangy okay, come on, okay, fine. It's part of some step back. If only I'm the bigger back now, I find the commandment. The em, I know, and the walk, the walk, hey man, and Sunday, a puffin born em to do a while, and Sunday, boom, boom, no longer must die too. A pehangy, yeah, well. And a one fully mail. Yo, that was the first account that I was uh, like then Galu Park in Galamin. Like like I said, 2007 was a bad year, and especially June 16, 2007. So the chapi fully okapi, um, hectic, the freeze. Yeah, bo. SZ2 come around me. Um, I'm, this is crime, guys. I'm speaking about crime here. Yeah. Okay, I'm not speaking about the goodies. 
and you know the celeb celebrating youth day yet this is about crime in society youth uh, doing crime upon youth so i'm just a fully male in triple a mind you I'm, I'm a big guy i played rugby that year and i was gymming um rugby but i'm a man me week up because as chairman and the ladies for me and the and then one guy able like he had his his knees on my chest while i was on on the floor i mean on the grass any busy take it up i love those sneakers man i've never found i've never seen them ever before i think i bought them in east london and that was the only sneakers of a kind like my nike sneakers as kulula and then any and pokoeta kupis patch some uh tata loma liomba nebena kind of thing and whatever Thirty phone, yeah, and then any chap can repeat it. Yeah, I, I I hate importing the cotton's gin. I hate importing the cotton's gin. So while the chap in pocket, as in you no, know, you must so strong, yeah, So any started to like hit me on the head with the with the importing the dry gin. So as he was banging on the head, yo, I was like, no, man, it flew away. So I was covering my face, Abo, and he, he continued to, like, in bed, up and talk, Abo. So he actually broke um, my hand, Abo. But okay, we won't talk about that now. I'll tell you what happens. So, any of us, Jeb, while these guys are pickpocketing me, it's any man, hey, I'll let me see my Abo. Masishitam. Now I, I know street lingo because in Kulelekas, if if you know extension fifteen if you live in Cuba, it's a cooler song. So um is to die. Yeah, bo. So at that point I was like, no, yeah, bo, nango, let me cry my heart out. Yeah, bo. Da kal, yo, yeah, bo. I was like, yo, for the abandu bev, yeah, bo. And then, after the end the Zapagami is it too? Yeah, bo. That means yo. Let me name me. I sing and slap it talk. Yeah, bo. And that's what you make in the slap. Yeah, bo. But Zapagama Zabalek. Surprisingly, because Zapagama Zabalek and the Zapagama and them, they are took it as if I'm going to do anything. Yeah, bo. I will not say what I said to them, but that took it. But hey, don't, 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 don't. For sake, don't, 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 don't. Yeah, bo. Don't, don't. So that I band the neighbors see what happened. What what's happening? Eh. They have eh. I'm and then and then talk or like. Yeah, bo. And then I went home. Unfortunately, um, I don't know what happened, but I got there. My parents were already there, yeah, and the gate was locked. Kungo past seven, like we said, so I around half past five. I bang on the gate, yeah, bang on the gate, bang on the gate, and my little sister comes out, yeah, um, as of all. and then she is like screaming because there wasn't any blood but none to be away like sazen bed as a chip like with fist the langa black potil and stuff i can go mashi tam yeah yeah but one day go mashi tam where i ask but you're gonna die bro yeah bro um so i the common man and look the seller pants timer timer polil yo okay fine then again and lean um, my mom was like, "Yom tana minto, bona na bangi kaos, nite mama ndrochi and stuff ya bo." Um, I think I am tana. Yo, I been chong. I am at two. Literally, no man I am at two. My six ya bo. One, two, three, four, five. Like I six, and then then two bill in a lap. Cause I didn't bet as a chap. Hey, mama, better take my lap ya bo. I mean, it tell the truth. I have been beka, and then I hear from me. My dad is in the house. Nigga is chilled ya bo. Chilled AF. The reason it's chilled AF is because three weeks prior to that, why is it? Pumele, yeku ambe psuku. No, thanks, Jonathan. Don't worry, my man. I hope there will be subtitles there. <laughs> so the, the reason my, 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 my dad was chilled a, 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 AF was that he had told me three weeks before, but Pumele, yeku ambe psuku. Stop this thing of loitering and roaming the streets at night um because you're not going to gain anything two he's an anti-friends my father is an anti-friends person i can't fool it to him i said yeah born it to me my dad loved music choral music in high school and then his friends said um they don't like umdo tandi choir imofi or they soft or they're gay so he stopped he dropped out of the choir and he actually realized that that was his passion. 
Yeah, well, so friends will influence you to, to do other things instead of doing what you like. So a time I was always that advocate. If you know when I even guys who visit my place, like when you like drop me school way in and then you like guys, my son been just go chill with up my lead. Niggas knew ba a kaya they you don't chill a kaya. Uh, especially if it's around half past four, because my parents are gonna come back because my dad didn't like friends. He didn't like even if they were good or bad. John Simo Simo knows it yo chef with John Gabinez. Yes, of course he the guy my father was a policeman. And then yeah, we, we, as a band. Like you don't you don't you don't you don't mess with my, my dad. So he had told me a couple of weeks before, but stop this thing you have subu. Lendele gym of going to gym and so on when coming back, it's not safe, you're gonna get in trouble. Ah yeah, I was like, yeah, the time is fine. Yeah, well, I was seventeen. <laughs> fine. So when my mom told my dad that Pumelele has been mugged, Nangwe Rumini, he's got like um, inflammation and he, he thinks his hand is broken. Literally, if you are a friend of mine, if you're a good friend of mine, you'll know that um, I've got a, I, I won't call it a disability really, but I broke my hand. So here, this laceration, actually, I, I saw my bone, and my hand was very swollen like this. Because remember, I was trying to protect myself. So Lamashita was beating me with a um, Gordon's dry gin bottle. And then it, it essentially broke my, my finger. I saw my bone. Um, I was so traumatized and my hand was like this. So um, time was, okay, it's fine. I see you. Um, like he's not bleeding. The man decided to have a cup of tea. First, he said, like, can you say tipa? He wasn't rushing to say, yo, my my son, etc., etc., etc. No, 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 no. He was like, make me a cup of tea and warm my plate of food. And he ate papunga, and then he asked me to come to the lounge. What did Gwen Zagin do? I told him what had happened, as you've heard before. I did At this point, I... I, I froze because he was asking me, what did I say to you before? And I knew what he said. Uh, it's dangerous uh, at night. You're gonna Eventually, you're going to get in, in trouble. Uh, and I said, yeah, time you're right. And I was crying, you know. Ish. I was like, yeah, no, these people, they are frying me now. So they took me to the doctor, uh, Dr. Mafoya. And then, yeah, there was a whole... J88 form and all those things, etc. So for me, that was the first encounter of a bad June 16. So in this story, you'll find it, Obana. There's, there's three things that we look into. One, being youth, being young, wild and free. Because what happened is then, Sapuma Namashita to perform a PH, and then we went to an after party, which is good. That's what young people do. Two, there's a level of consumerism in Obana. Okay. We've got money, the money that we're given. We're using it to either fund um, our hip hop gigs or fund how we looked because we needed to look the part. And also we, there was some alcohol and, and food. Sastana Noyo Chisanyama was Sizzlers. There's a place called Sizzlers next to PH. You know, when you know Sizzlers, you know. I'm not sure what's happening now in the Sizzlers, but Sizzlers was a spot uh, around that time. Ngumbela was a place here, Amahumsha. Amahumsha will know what that means. Um, three, <coughs> upon celebrating Youth Day, um, you know, we knew that it was June 16, and yeah, we knew that you watch Sarafina, you know, all those political shows, etc. Um, but, but, you know, as I reflect now, yes, it was the, year, the worst year in my teenage life, but it was a time where I experienced what I experienced, crime in society. Yeah, bo. So you grow up, yeah, one day, yeah, this is a second but yeah, that's a fine, my man, that's a fine. So um, I remember in 2017, about 10 years after that incident, and most of my friends, and also it appears to to so on, we're all, we're all like, I, youth day, I suffer, um, I don't know what happened anymore. So, I probably I suffered because our experiences have changed and probably we've been the reality of the statistics because remember at that time 
um, were kids, um, literally in high school. So as I asked Baskipan, when you become a young adult, so 10 years later, we are young adults. We're like, yo, I used to as a fan. I used to fan because we've got different experiences now. And, and it makes us even sing I born in irrelevance in Dobana. Why, why must there be a celebration of youth? Because we're, we're suffering. We're unemployed. We're jobless. We're unskilled. We're uneducated. Yeah, born. But um, all in all, I, 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 think, I think it's important for us also to reflect now today how we feel about in the youth day um last year just to add on to you know by youth day as a fan last year um the outer muslim i think is on the call now and a, a couple of other people safun wenza is something like a daily theta or a youth day initiative um that we you know we talk about empowering the youth in part of it um and so <laughs> There's a lot of lessons that we learn from that one. So you have an idea, which Osimo was brought the idea to my attention to say, brah, I want us to do something to empower the youth. Um, Simo is, 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 a, is an advocate of, of, of the youth, but you know, he's got great ideas, but implementation is like ANC, that one. So, so he asked me to, to pitch in to say, listen, man, I've got an idea run with it and he knows that i yeah, he doesn't want to do it but he's got an idea so say says i'm going to this youth um day daily theta you know it actually reminded me what happened to love life what happened to you know those 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 youth development initiatives like love life or arrive alive uh, those that were pushing the agenda of empowering youth so long story short um Usim's I said he has got this idea. I was like, Simo, I'm on it. I don't care what it is. Let's do it. Sometimes you just need to take a risk and be and explore. When someone presents something to you, you need to just be on it. Even if someone is presenting to you into a multi-level marketing or someone says, come, let's sell Heba Life. What do you know? You don't think of no, just say yes, join and see what happens and learn afterwards. Or Umdubai said, no, uh, join Inuka or okay. Yeah, it, those are products. But just when someone asks you about something, when you feel that it sounds right, just do it. Yeah, well, so Science and Osimole, when I created a Facebook event and I, I sponsored the event, like Nafagi Mali, to say to, so that it must be shown to people. The idea was us to have about 20 people in a room to do something called a youth imbizo. So guys who have done Activate will know what the youth in Bizo is, is where you call a uh, bacha in a room, you discuss multiple topics, and then you come up with um, uh, solutions to those problems. So one, the solutions come from Ababan Balab, and the problems and the solutions come from Ababan Balab. So if venue, I was like, yo, it will venue. Usimo has a venue that he works from. So Usimo is an entrepreneur. He, he's a graduate in, fa in fashion design that decided to start his own co-op so he's got a co-op with five other people they are it's a youth-owned enterprise he says to lele in butterworth so i said simo if you're not working on that day let's use the facility to have this youth dialogue and uh, my dad has his doula that he rents out you know so it's got chairs there so i was like i'll take 30 chairs and then seven zise and then we'll we'll just run with it yeah Fine. 20 people confirmed on Facebook that they'll be there on Youth Day 2018. They're going to come. Yeah, well, so we were happy about that. I'm like, okay, cool. 20 people are going to come. Fine. So call at 10 o'clock and then we'll start the brainstorming. And I figure half past eight, drop the chairs. And, and I communicated on Facebook where the reminder is uh, uh, the event is happening. Come, let's chat, etc., etc. I bet to oh, half past nine, I bet to ten. Yeah, well, ten o'clock, no one pitched. It was me, Simo, and um, a colleague of his. Okay? Quarter past ten, Kwafika Nindombazana, Okute, Lumkwana. And yeah, half past ten, Kwafika Uenyauti. I just forgot his name, man. Um, but we were all in the, in, in the team together. So the event was supposed to start at ten and end at twelve or one. It's now half past ten. Only two people are here. Mm. Gandhi, twenty people said they would come. 
that showed me in Dobana what is said on Facebook or what is presented on Facebook. People don't actually follow through. For instance, there was, there was nothing motivating a young person to leave their home at 10 o'clock on 10 o'clock in the morning on a public holiday to go listen to other young people talk about problems that they know and trying to come up with solutions that they don't know. But Babeste Kukuchuala, Paya. Babeste event would have free booze or a chisanyama, etc. You would have seen hundreds and hundreds of people that come to that event. That's the sad reality is that when a person is trying to do something positive or when the person has a vision to achieve something, if I natural or free food, you know, um, now not, not, it won't motivate a person to come to that event. It makes me remember Kubaneza events. If you went to college or university, refreshments will be served. So you know, you know, guys that stay at Resba. After we do program, yes, I ask them to send chambers. Okay, there's a book launch um, in a certain SRC chamber or whatever. Uh, no, we are there. Chonga chongo langa utika. You know. So yeah. So whenever, whenever, and most of the time. So refreshments were served before the events, and people just came to eat to eat the refreshments and leave. Once my event is is um, is empty, now they change and said the refreshments will be served after the event. Then you find lots of people inside there, so that after the events they they can benefit from the sandwiches or whatever finger snacks that are there. So the June 16 initiative essentially failed. Then I was very upset. We were all upset, but. We decided to do it again. We decided, you know what? We are learning from this. We need to be more aggressive in terms of our approach when we want to do initiatives of this kind. So we said, okay, let's do it again in the same year, go September. Um, so it would be give us another three to four months to do it. Um, September. Uti, Uti Prince, I differed actually. Those who actually attend uh, those things are exactly who you are looking for. It didn't fail. Unyansile Prince, it didn't fail because there were three people that actually came. And 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 there are photos, I, I mean, I can't upload them now, but I remember when we sat around the table and we had like ideas of, you know, what what are the problems that are affecting the youth? One, the issue is that there's a lack of mentoring. That came up from that meeting to say people don't see other people doing what they think they would do. You get what I'm saying? There's no mentoring happening. Two, there is a politicization of business opportunities. Because they know him. That guy, <clears throat> the guy was a, like he was a joke. Like, not a joke, like as in I'm demeaning them. No. He was a prankster. He was a Mr. Bean. He used to do jokes and do pranks, etc. He joined Sasco and is now in council chambers in ANC. So in order for you to get, as a young person, to get um, business opportunities, you have to go through him. So he's a gatekeeper of some sort. So I we will not subscribe to that. Three, people have businesses. <clears throat> young people have businesses, um, but they don't know each other. So there's no networking amongst young people um, in business. For example, Usimo told me about a, a, a lady that bakes. Um, she wants her vision or her dream is to, for her to have a bakery at, in the township. She doesn't want to set up shop uh, in town. She wants to operate Emsomombu where she, where she lives. Another young person is Unezisa Sokoni. Unezisa, I went to high school with her. Uh, we were in the same class throughout um, grade 10, 11, and 12. Um, she's got her own poultry farm. <coughs> right? I think you know her. Please follow her on, on Facebook. Just search Unezisa Sokoni. You'll find her. You'll see her, what type of person she is. She, has, she did an IT diploma, but she didn't like what she was doing. Ended up doing poultry farming. So Lendo Mazana, who's baking, when you bake, you need eggs, right? Lindo Mazana is probably going to buy eggs at Spa. Instead of going to Unesisa, or the main road and so on, and buy eggs there. You get what I'm saying? Um, there's a guy called um, Uzuki Lemzomba. 
um, he, 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 he buys leather and manufactures leather shoes and resells them. You get what I'm saying? Uthala, um, um, Lelali behind Guayago, I just forgot its name, is Azulwan. <clears throat> so there's a lot of people that came to that um, event that I said initially it failed, but they had something to offer on, on the table. So the, the vision was to have a youth chamber of business or a youth chamber of commerce of some sort. Of course, there are gatekeepers, Kulondoleo, but um, it, 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 it needs to happen, you know. I remember, and then we went to a Kanye community radio where Simo spoke about this to say, we try to do this thing. And we got support from Kanye community radio since first. What, you know, I need you guys to come in and speak about what you're doing. Um, and 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 it, it sounds sounds good. Daya and Nage and of of course you. I went to Kanye Community Radio. I presented my case in terms of youth empowerment and youth development, jobs and CV writing. If you don't know that, I actually recorded that video and I posted it on my YouTube account. Please search YouTube Pumelele ZA. You'll find there that I, I there's a there's jobs job search and CV writing. Uh, at Kanye Community Radio or KCR, so I actually went there. That that interview, that radio interview, was a as a result of that initiative that we started on June 16, 2018, and then Youth Day 20, 20 Youth Day, I mean Heritage Day, 2018. So yeah, um, what am I talking about? Yeah, so I was talking about youth, you know, being connected to each other. So the reason I'm bringing these things together is, is exactly amongst that. Initially, when I opened this discussion, Ben City, the African proverb, which literally means close your mouth when you're eating. I think most of young people or, or black people have closed their mouth. Once you find yourself in an opportunity that you've got money, you, 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 you step away from other people and and you you start to eat alone you know and it it goes to the concept that says um um it's our time to eat please to break the bread with someone else yes when you're eating you don't have to boast about it no 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 but you must share what you're eating with someone but don't say ah i'm not eating yeah i'm fine now no 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 yes close your mouth but just tag a friend and say chief there's something happening here and and so that you are able to you know to share the profits you know you can't be a gatekeeper if you've got opportunities share them yeah well um as in even a small thing of of sharing there's a there's something that people always say but uh, as if my name is Sabenzi, our friends are not even sharing opportunities even where they work <sighs> i don't owe you uh i don't owe where I work, I don't owe sharing where I work with you, but if I knew you, I would, you know. So we need to connect with each other at one, a professional level or a social level because people discriminate based on who they know. If I know you, I will share something with you. If I don't know you, I won't share anything. So you must make yourself known to say, hey, Guys, I'm looking for this opportunity. Then people will say, oh, uh, yeah, the artist said he know he, he's, he's looking for this opportunity. Let me share it with him once I know. So sometimes when you're keeping to yourself and your plans are not clearly articulated, you won't get any opportunities. You know, you need to search for them. But you need to socialize at a professional level or at a social level um, so that you are able to get, um, you know, is into our head. Yeah, I think I think I think um, let me let me end it there. Um, I think it's been thirty minutes now. You've been using your data wisely by watching me. I see there's nine, nine, ten people that are tuning in, which is which is good because I literally said I will go live for absolutely no reason. There's no reason why I decided to go live, and I didn't curate this. Uh, I'm now I was busy watching um, morning live, having coffee, and I'm like, yeah, let me just start. Um, after this, I'm going to study because I've got an exam on Saturday. But uh, if there are no further questions, let's let's park it for now. 
I might randomly go uh, live this afternoon um, without any prior notice um, and, and see if, if people are interested. But if there are no questions, guys, um, enjoy the rest of your youth day. But think about, you know, what, me, what youth day means to you. Um, um, as an individual, don't think about the politics. We know, yes, um, Hector Peterson, RIP, um, lost his life, and a lot of other people lost his life because they were standing um, for what they thought was right. You know, they were against. It's 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 not only Africans that they were against. I I don't believe it was only Africans. It was a lot of other things that culminated to that day. So. Um, there are things that are also bothering us as youth. As you know, in South Africa, youth is a person between 18 and 35. So that, that is where government has decided to put youth uh, as a category in. So we've got lots of challenges, even this COVID-19. The Nyindos are in June 16, because we're sitting at home. We are mostly affected by this COVID-19 from an economical perspective because we are the ones who are losing jobs because we are the ones who are economically active. We are the ones who are dropping out from university. I've got four people that I know that were studying this year that have decided to drop out because this COVID-19 is affecting how they study because there's no material or there's no access to internet for them to be able to get the information so that they do their assignments online. So it's very bad. Um, it's very COVID nineteen is is an is a it's a yes it's an illness it's a disease it's a virus, but in Delhi unfolding it's it's unfolding from an, it's hitting all sectors of the economy all sectors of the community, um, um, so so it it's not gonna be the same it'll never be the same again so when we when we commemorating I don't think celebrating is is good you don't celebrate a massacre. But you remember it. Um, it's like it's like um, remember it's like in, unveiling a tombstone. There's no celebration in terms of ululations, but you always go to that tombstone and clear the shrubs and make it make sure it looks clean, and then you honor the person who's laying on that grave. So a youth day is not a celebration. I denounce that. I would rather say it's a commemoration. Um, of those who had fallen fighting for their rights at that time. Tinake, we are fighting a different struggle, obviously, and but it, we need to internalize it in Dobana. What does Youth Day mean to you? And how are you going to fight for your own rights where you are? You know, are you standing up for yourself, M7 Zim, if you are employed? Are you standing up for yourself? Go in if, if, if you are a girl child or a boy child and you are witnessing um, domestic abuse or you are witnessing drug abuse or you are witnessing anything that you feel is not right, you know, uh, at school, you know, are you standing up for yourself? Uh, but there's no one here who's in high school. None of my friends are in high school. Minimum requirements to be my friend is to pass metric or be out of high school. So I don't think there's anyone in school here, but bullying doesn't stop at high school, similar to um, uh, peer pressure. Peer pressure doesn't stop at high school. We are living in a very peer pressurized environment now where we are comparing ourselves to our friends and we're like, yo, Oban, Bagno Life, Nangabiko Gren. That's peer pressure. You don't, you don't isolate it to it being in high school. So what does um, Youth Day mean to you within those perspectives? Okay, guys. Let, let me call it a day and uh, we'll pick it up. Um, if you want to comment on anything, please uh, lo uh, uh, go to the comment section and, and share your opinion. And also please just subscribe um, to my YouTube channel, uh, Pumelele ZA. Just watch some of the videos there and, and tell me what you think. Um, and then we'll pick it up next time. Enjoy, guys. And, uh, yes.